Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, or paramedics of all ages, this is Chris Savalero coming to you live from EMS Expo 2012 at the Physio Control Podcast booth. We want to thank Physio Control for putting this podcast booth together, and also EMS World. It's really great to be at the EMS Expo again and to see some great friends and to network and to kind of get the greatest education that's going on in the United States for EMTs and paramedics. I want to go ahead and thank our sponsor, EMS Manager, for coming on. And I want to talk a little bit about EMS Manager. You know, one of the big things that we have is scheduling, and we have a lot of challenges when it comes to those things. And EMS Manager thought it would be really great to bring one of their users on. I want to go ahead and introduce him. It's Steve Taylor. Steve, how are you doing? Pretty good, Chris. How are you? Yeah, I'm getting old, you know, but what can you do about that? Um, I hear you. Yeah. So just, uh, you are an EMS Manager. So quickly, just maybe a little bit where you're from, what system you work in. Sure, Rob. We're from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Um, work for Dare County EMS. Uh, we've been using uh, EMS Manager about uh, since uh, about July 1st. Now one of the things that I've always had challenges with, and it seems that the most important thing that we have to do is our scheduling. So before you guys transitioned to EMS Manager, what were some of the problems you were having? Well, we transitioned from an easy 2448 schedule into a hybrid schedule, which we had people coming on at different times of all parts of the day. And we knew it right away and immediately that we were going to have to have some kind of uh, media uh, scheduling program in order to, to make sure our folks were communicated to in a timely fashion what time to show up for work, what time their shift would begin, what time it would end, and, and what days they'd work. So th now that you've transitioned, has it increased or increased productivity, or how's that worked for you? Well, for the most part, our folks know when they're going to uh, be assigned uh, their shift. Uh, they work the same days every week, but they don't know what, what time. So they're, they're able to, we're able to push that out to them pretty much uh, in advance. They're able to go on their uh, cell phones, they'll be able to go on their uh, computers, anywhere they have web access, and they can pull up their schedule at any time. Mm -hmm. And you know, like EMS, it, it changes, you know, sometimes just the night before, they can pull it up that morning when they're getting ready to come into work, and maybe their station assignment might have changed over the evening, and it was late, they didn't get a phone call and they can see that right away. Sure. So since you've moved, what do you think has been the best uh, resource from EMS Manager for you? Um, well, one of the time savings for yeah. us. Um, basically, uh, we were doing old paper timesheets, and they were taking about 20 hours, uh, conservatively 20 hours a week to uh, complete uh, with signatures and, and the like. Uh, we were able to reduce that down to, we, we spend about about four hours now doing timesheets in a two-week period. So, uh, really, for us, it's it's been a real uh, savings of time and, right. and and much more accurate too. Well, one of the things that I've not uh, noticed more of is a lot more people are starting to work on their iPads and their smartphones. Does the EMS manager give you the opportunity to do that as well? Absolutely. Any any web app, anything they can get a uh, regular uh, uh, internet uh, connection, a webcat uh, connection, it uh, works fabulous on that. It works on the iPads, it works on the on the Android, it works on your phones, any smartphone. Sure. Uh, it just doesn't work very well on a regular phone, but it, it works great. So one of the things though, as we are starting to think about our budgets and as we're looking to make cuts, how, how does it fit into financially into the system? Well, for us, it was an add-on. So we were looking at ways in which we were you know, we were going to have to spend this money, but how we were going to recoup that money. And uh, one of the biggest ways we did that was in, in moving our technology forward is, you know, we were trying to marry back doing the, the old paper stuff, we, moving our finance and, and personnel and those records, and getting those departments to come along with us. Using the time clock feature, we're able to have uh, folks come in, sign in, sign out, our operations folks to uh, validate that and then um, pretty much done. Sure. And then it's a couple hours uh, each week to, uh, to, to pretty much correlate that and uh, collate it together for the uh, time record and off the finance for payroll. You know, one of the things that I find, and I'd like you to kind of touch on it for our listeners, is the reporting feature. You know, it seems that we're always looking at trends and we're always looking to pull out data. And, and, and a lot of us, we're data driven. So how has that feature been for you? Well, it's, um, it's it's got so many reports. Actually, um, we, we look at uh, we look at the overtime report. We look at the regular call hours assigned. Uh, we look at how much uh, an employee's been working. It has features in which uh, not to allow employees to work with 
but so many hours a week without you knowing about it. So will they lock them out, or how does uh, that work? Well, not so much to lock them out, but it requires a, at least a management approval. Approval, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's been a great thing. Um, of course, we got a storm going on right now, so there's there's uh, lots of overtime going on. But um, the reports, I mean, the, we can actually see in the future exactly how many hours we have an employee scheduled for. So that if we have a, a scheduling issue or a, with an employee, we can sometimes modify a schedule to maybe oh, get them back yeah. on track or um, or help them out. So, um, so as you transition to it, how difficult was your staff? Uh, did your staff find to train and use the product? Was it is it user friendly? Um, we had a very short um, uh, training period, and, and it's very user friendly uh, for our, for our staff. It's it's pull it up. We gave them the address, and they can pretty much see the. Uh, the work schedule uh, for us on the back end, the user, and it took a little bit of time getting used to that, like any computer program, but uh, really didn't take much time at all. Awesome, that's great. And if you subscribe to EMS Manager, it does come with, uh, it includes free training, free tr uh, tech support, free software updates. And I got to tell you, you know, as an EMS manager, when it comes to time uh, and making sure that our folks have the right time and our schedules are set, this has really been a tool that I've utilized as well and I, I can't talk enough about it. And if you want to go ahead and get more information and sign up for that free demo, you can go to emsmanager.net, and I don't think you'll be disappointed to give it a shot. Steve, I want to thank you for joining us on the EMS Leadership. Thank you. And we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with you.